do I love you? Indeed I do. Sweet darling, indeed I do. Get your laughing gear around that. Sweet potato fry with a kick. <coughs> Too hot. Just wasn't expecting. The kick. And thank you, lucky stars. I only give you a little bird's eye and not a scotch bonnet. Eh? Chili pepper. Yeah, my grandma, Dolly, used to sprinkle them on everything when I was a kid. Everything. Including my cornflakes. Morning. Hey, perfect timing. Get on that. Nerves. He's got his first dose of radiotherapy today. Dad? Well, I'll have it. Looks gorgeous. Yeah, the uh, solitaire. Implanting, yeah. Yeah, her uh, last husband was a right flash Harry, so I'm looking for something a bit more understated. Yes, <laughs> expensively understated. Look, have you got that one in stock? Okay, fine. I'll um, I'll see you this morning. Thanks. Bye. 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 Well. Last time I looked, yeah. Uh, you don't normally get out of bed so quick. Mm. Well, I've just been discussing dates with um, Nina Henson. Hmm. Chance everything yesterday. That one. I think it's finally sinking in that this pen is a pen and not a magic wand. Anyway, I'm going to go and see her now and show her these fabrics. Oh, any excuse. I reckon she fancies you. Oh? Is that a worry? No, I wouldn't blame you after the other night. The other night? When I gave you chapter and verse. About what? Mm. The Peter stuff. It is ancient history. You do know that, don't you? You need to know that honesty is always my policy. Always. Ciao for now. It's a good job there's no punters waiting. They'd never believe we snooze through the alarm. Well, there's nothing wrong with sending your husband off to work with a rosy glow, is there? I'll tell you what. That beats a bowl of ready brick. <laughs> well, people get in training for a marathon, don't they? They do. Yeah, so what's wrong in practising getting pregnant? And I will approach my preparations like an elite athlete. <laughs> I'm Rosamond Street's answer to Rafa Nadal, me. <laughs> I don't climb up on my account. We're having a private conversation. Oh, right. More secrets. We don't believe in them. What, you and your girlfriend? Yeah. Nothing's out of bounds with us. Old boyfriends, old mistakes. We just get it all out in the open and move on. I touched a nerve there. Come on, we're both grown-ups. Been around the block a few times, eh? So much to eat while well, I keep my strength up. Makes sense. I've got this knot in my stomach. Stress. I thought Russ would take it better. He worships you and he's nine years old. I thought I wouldn't really register. No, I registered all right. Oh, things are going to get worse. Only before they get better. Yeah, when, when Lloyd offered me the room, I was grateful. Felt like a lifeline. You know, I, I didn't want to face this on my own. We didn't, we didn't think this through. None of us. And what if I need nursing? I don't want that to be my lad's last memory of me. Don't. And where's the dignity? Where's the privacy? Look, when you shut that door... No, I, I mean you and Lloyd. You're supposed to be a couple. Who invited you here? Lloyd. Not me. Not Russ. Lloyd. Do you really believe he'd do that without discussing it first? I saw your face. You were shocked as I was. Yeah, because he moves so fast. We're not daft. We know what this treatment means and we want to be there for you. No, I'll, I'll pay my way, muck in with cooking, tidy. Yeah, when you feel up to it. And when you don't, you can sit there, shut up, and let us wait on you. No, thanks, mate. Can I ask you one more thing? Don't touch Lloyd's vinyl. That is the only house rule. Can we keep this to ourselves? Can't face another Maria moment. They were mushy and tearful. She was upset. It was a shock. For all I knew, she was counting on you having grandkids together. And she changed. One minute we're equals, and next she's trying to be my mum. Maria? I'm trying to take this like a man. 
Well, you don't have to. I want to. I, I want the lads to give me stick. I want Russ sliding in for tackles. I, I, want, I want a girlfriend, not a nurse. Have you already told people? No. Cheryl. I swear. But it's gonna look weird you're moving in here. I can't act the pity. Of course. It's your call. Couples break up and you're Russ's dad. It's not that weird, I suppose. Where's Brenda? Crawler. Her name's Fat Brenda. And I let her go early. Slimming World? Zumba. We settle. She is. To be honest, I couldn't wait to get out of our place. Chris has moved in. You had me on? No, nope, I invited him. Well, I know I told you, give him a break, but moving him in? What was I supposed to do? See him wind up on a park bench? It wouldn't come to that. He starts radiotherapy today, every day for the next six weeks. Are you going to sleep it off on Eileen's couch? Here's a break. Well, respect to you, mate. I hope your missus appreciates you. Oh, she does. Well, you're a better man than me, Gunga Din. I'm no saint, mate, believe me. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Annual income, 20 pounds. Annual expenditure, 19 pounds, 19 and six. Result happiness. You've read David Copperfield. Well done, mother. Don't patronize me, Roy. Annual income, 20 pounds. Annual expenditure, 20 pounds and six. Result? Misery. And compared to last year's accounts, these make miserable reading. So you've done them now. Thank you very much. And to be fair, Sylvia, we are living in hard times. No, look, the point that I'm trying to make is... We're not selling enough. No, we're selling too much. I mean, how many rashers are there on that plate? Two? Oh, there are three. I'm a growing lad. No, well, don't begrudge them to you personally, Dennis, of no, course. is this a tragedy or a comedy? Got to be a comedy, right? Does she have to speak in riddles? She is celebrating her second wedding anniversary today. Oh, Becky, love. I've just been over the road to pick up the post, check this out, right? Here, we have a congratulations card from Belmont the Jewellers. And here, or Stevie, to commemorate the big day, we have divorce proceedings. Oh, isn't that sweet? I don't think he was being snidey. <laughs> Wanna bet? He can do. He's a bookies. Oh, I just think it's his way of being friendly, love, you know? I don't think the poor bloke's got many mates. Mm. I wonder why. He's a little squirt. How did he get to be so smug? Love, can we forget about Frank? Our life's an open book. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, he didn't come screaming from Underworld, did he? So, Carl has probably just given him the edited highlights. Well, fair enough, but to be honest, I wasn't a finest moment. But I wasn't, you know, and if they've been straight with each other, that's good. Some couples manage to do it, we have. You know, and even though he is irritating, he's right. You know, we should all move on, all of us, and just forget about what happened. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with Peter. I just thought you two together, it just churns me stomach and... I know, love, that's just because you don't want to lose me. And I don't want to lose you either. And I think that that calls for celebration. You and your glass are full. <laughs> so I'm going to close shop and I'm going to take you for lunch at the Rovers. Ah, oh, last of the great romantics. And if you like, we can swing by the flat on the way. Oh, what for more training? See, two heads, one mind. Thank you. Hey, Annie, a funny thing happened this morning. I see the guys that used to work with you, the, the, the guy with the muscles. Chris Gray. Yeah. I saw him letting himself into Sharon Lloyd's place. What, with the crowbar? What was your belly? Yeah, it's like him, his marching orders. Mm -hmm. You know what makes lost the plot. Mm -hmm. Started out as a cracking worker as well. Counted him as a mate. Keep it buttoned. Uh, I, I, I thought I saw you two in it. No, but he too, just like that. Yeah. Lazy, unreliable. Pushing his luck, basically. He's out of order. Just ignore it. I don't know what he's talking about. Carl, I don't want any kick-offs. Now, you see, what I don't get is it looked to me like he's actually moved in there with them. What kind of a freak <laughs> moves his girlfriend's exit? Well, I wouldn't. They look pretty kosher. Yeah, well, if it's true, he's a sap. Mm. Mate, I'll get your facts straight before you start calling Lloyd. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you know something that we don't know? Lloyd's a mate. Ah, uh, you see, she's fallen for the old Spaniel. Ah. He's a lovely guy. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. He's just a soft touch with a lady. Mind you, if Cheryl gave you the option of share me or lose me, mm. you'd have to think long and hard. Damn mm. yeah, right you would. Your old mate, Chris, has got a brain tumour. That shut you up. So no wonder he's lost the plot. Lloyd's taken him in. Not such a soft touch, eh? Turn that 
frown upside down. I'm frowning. This is how my face goes when I'm thinking. Mm, I reckon you need a change of scenery and uh, maybe a drink to cheer you up on me, uh, not the Rovers. I, but I really don't think today of all days alcohol. Uh, right, right. Uh, what time should Katie pick up hope, she's asking? Oh, he's forgotten. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? We visited him Biz this afternoon. And table four needs wiping. Would well, quarter to one be all right? Thanks, Katie. See you then. Bye. If you want a job doing, I command. <coughs> you plainly cannot, Roy. You know you're a control freak. You have to learn to delegate. So I'll take it you haven't sorted cover. I'll call Anna. Well, what am I doing here? Waiting to die? <coughs> <coughs> Well, my apologies, Nina. I thought Frank was bringing the fabric in in person. This morning. Oh, sorry, no, it's my mistake. Well, I'll get onto it as soon as possible. All right, love, bye-bye. Excuse me, did I wake up with mug written on my forehead this morning? <laughs> you don't seriously expect me to answer that, do you? <laughs> <clears throat> no, no, absolutely not far from it, Mrs Connor. I thought so. Right, Frank Foster, you've got some explaining to do. Oh, surprise, surprise, voicemail. I saw Chris earlier. He's coming out of your house. Right. So is there anything that you want to tell me? Chris has moved in. And what has Lloyd moved out? I told you, Maria, we're just trying to do what we can. You and Lloyd? And Russ. He looked haggard. Is he sleeping? Not sure. I don't get it. We were doing great together. I mean, you don't just stop loving someone overnight, do you? We miss him. Me and Liam. And even the dog does. He keeps bringing me Chrissy's trainers to me. I don't know if it weren't so sad, it'd be funny. I'll tell him that you were asking after him. I mean, I'd come round if I thought it'd be of use. I don't think that... We told Rush yesterday, so Chris's head is all over the show. Well, I mean, to help or talk or take the weight off. I wouldn't push it. He's seeing his life very differently and he knows exactly what he wants and... And what he doesn't want. Yeah. OK. Well, cheers for that. I'll be sure that I'll leave him in peace from now on. She wants to prove how useless I am. She's being protective, Roy. The praying mantis in her mate. Where's the army and let me take the weight off for the afternoon? She's done it before, eh? Uh, an afternoon here, a morning there, whole day on accounts before you know it, she's a permanent fixture. Well, I'm, I'm talking two, three hours tops. It's not like I haven't got any friendly plates. No pun intended. All right. Listen, I'm uh, I'm pricing a job in town tomorrow morning. Hey, you let me go, remember? Yeah, I could give you a lift in. In where? We'll save you hanging around bus stops. No, I'm fine, Tom. Besides, I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. All right. Well, if you change your mind, just give us a knock at the yard, yeah? Oh, hang on. Ah. You forgot this. The, uh, your wages for the end of the week. There you go. I walked out before the end of the week. Yeah, but I still owe you for the work you did do. Plus, holiday money. Chris, mate, you're going to need money to tide you over, yeah? So you get your benefits straightened out. Who have you been talking to? No one. Was it Cheryl? What was she been saying? I haven't seen Cheryl. I just heard that you were moving in, that's all. But it's, it's to the end of the month. Yeah, you can't live there rent-free, can you? Did she tell you that? What else did she say? Right. Owen. It was Carl. Who the hell's Carl? From the Rovers. I, I don't even know the bloke. He's a mate of Lloyd's. Yeah, he, he's spreading with private business around the street. Well, if you must know, he was sticking up for you. Yeah, sounds like it. Here, stick that no, in the charity daft, box. Chris, Chris, don't be daft. We're mates. They were. I, I jumped before I was pushed. Don't be a fool. You've got a kid to support. You need decent, healthy food inside you. There'll be times when you want to get a taxi, not the bus. Come on, take it. I'm telling you, being sick doesn't come cheap. Come 
Oh, and, uh... We're all really sorry. Uh, bog off! Have I just got here? No. Roy! Roy, these ice buns, are they buy one, get one free? Yeah, but they are rather small, Mother. And Kirk is a regular customer. We like to reward loyalty. Oh, yes, and uh, the other thing that we'd like... Yes, is it, if you could run the cafe for me this afternoon. We don't always appreciate the demands of a small baby. Fizz needs all the visitors she can muster, and you did such a great job last time. Of course, if you feel it's too much for you. Too much? I have survived the Blitz and four Labour governments. A few days behind this counter would be like a walk in the park. Very good, very good. No time like the present. I should just deliver Kirk's all-day breakfast. Um, a cutlery. Oh, yes. So, got back in one piece then. Half a stone heavier, but... When in Rome, huh? Exactly. You do not go to Italy to eat lettuce, do you? Tell you what, though. So romantic. <laughs> At the time of life. See, Dev. Arrivederci. So just exactly what have you been telling Frank about us? Hello, you see me. Us? Yeah, yeah. What, you and Leanne? No, me and you. Mm -hmm. Because it seems he wants to rub my nose in it every chance he gets. So what does he know? How much have you told him? Oh, everything. Everything. Huh? Well, why not? No, we're not good at it. Okay. Me and Frank are in love. Why shouldn't we be honest with one another? Oh, I get it. You're worried that Leanne will find out about our furtive little fumble. Don't be cheap. Well, cheap is exactly what it was, isn't it? Yeah. A schoolboy snob behind your sweetheart's back. Oh, calm down, the year. Okay. It was that insignificant. It slipped my memory. Well, yeah, okay. Just make sure it stays that way, then. Manners. Please, for your sake as well as mine. Oh, see, that's what I love about you, Peter. You never stop caring. Alphabetti spaghetti, Dev. Do they still make that? Well, not in Rome, but uh, bottom shelf. Great stuff. Yeah. Uh, now, the warming plate can be temperamental. Oh. I've said. There's a note to that effect yes, on page I will, one. I will read and digest. Unlike the treacle pudding, I wish you'd take it off the menu. Oh. Take it off yourself, boss. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that will be £1.20. Staff discount, innit? You're not staff. Pull me weight. All five stone of you, £1.20. You know what? <laughs> Stuffy coffee. You don't make it like our eye anyway. Maiden's water is that. Becky. Becky! Go after her kit is about to arrive, and you know what Parkin's like at that prison. Now, about the coffee, go. Hey, he's back. How oh, was it? You must be shattered. You should have rang, we could have picked you up from the hospital. Are oh, you done enough for one day? Well, I asked you to keep quiet about my treatment. Why don't you say your boyfriend had already put it out on the streetcast radio? You what? There's my bed and board till I find another place. What are you talking about? I would have ticked the box for no publicity. Chris, but it's too late now. Every Tom, Dick and Harry in the Rovers is laying bets on the size of my tumour. Oh, that, that's a donation, by the way, from Owen. He's come over all bleeding art since Carl told him I might be dying. Carl? I told him not to say anything. What has this got to do with Carl? I was trying to work out what to do for the best. I swore him to secrecy. Well, that worked. I'm going for a lie down. Look, no-one said keep stunned. You told Russ. In private. Yeah, he's not going to keep it to himself. Yes, he is. Well, something this massive? No way. There's bound to come out in the end. When Chris was ready. Make all the excuses you like, Lloyd. This was not your secret to spread. Yes, and so this diet is when you don't eat raw food at the same time as cooked food. And you only eat raw food with herbs. Yeah, I think I'll slum it today, if you don't mind. We're on it. Right. Ham salad, one cheese, one tuna. Um, I've you. booked us a table at Vito's. For all of us? Vito's have got nothing on my signies. I'll take your bid for it. Actually, Stella, uh, give these guys a top-up and whatever Peter and Leanne are having, please. Right, you. Thank you. Tom. Carla. Mm. Carla. 
Look at you. Don't even bother with the phony back chat with me, fella. You're busted. You weren't with Nina Henson this morning, were you? Guilty as charged. <laughs> so, you see, I won't be going to the restaurant with you because I've got a cab due in five. Well, why don't we talk about it on the way? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, I know how this works. You pretend like everything's cool, then you pour a vat of Chianti down my throat and start grilling me about blokes I've loved and lost. Speaking of which, Peter's just there. You know what? I told you about him and me so you would forget about it. And I have. Oh, yeah, and you're so desperately trying to prove it. You're buying him cigars and pints and patting him on the back every time you see him in the pub. Carla, people are definitely staring. <laughs> well, you've been acting weird ever since. Well... Where were you? I will tell you everything over lunch. Come on. No, no, you've not got time for lunch, sweetheart. You've got a business to run. You know the one that I've been running while you've been off gallivanting? I haven't been gallivanting. Yo, oh, now it's my turn. You know what? I've got a credit card and I'm going to use it. Carla, please. Taxi for Connor. Right with you, love. You know what? Have that one on me. And if I were you, I wouldn't wait until because I might stop off for cocktails. In fact, I might ask Carl if he'll join me. Carla, please don't make me do this. <gasps> what? <sighs> what? This. Oh, don't be silly, Frank. Get up. Here, hold this. <sighs> Italy was a dream. I don't want to wake up. I love you, Carla Connor. Marry me. Yes or no, Carla? Find out in half.